Well, howdy, Rep the Crazies. How are you guys being? No selfies. Hey, y'all. Welcome to another episode of Rep the Crazy. You got it. So, I got some feeders in today, and I thought, let's do a video. So, um, this is my order of super worms that I ordered from, oh my gosh, Jersey Worm. Um, I'll put their link down below, of course. Gavin at Jersey Worms is awesome. His feeders are always alive. They're great. If you have problems, no questions asked. He sends you more. Um, as long as you send him a picture uh, within so long of getting your feeders. Wow, I look terrible. I'm sick. I've got bronchitis, but can't leave you guys hanging. So what I thought we'd do is we do the unboxing, and then you guys can check out my... Reptiles eating their super worms. Here we go. Okay, guys, so this is a pretty awesome box. It's got a little vents in it like that. Like, I've never seen a box like that. You can actually hear them crawling around in here. There is a thousand super worms in here. Gavin must have his own box, okay? Because, like, 1,000 large super worms. Alright, so let's get to cutting this thing open, y'all. Now, this is going to be kind of hard to do with one hand, but we're going to try it. This thing's pretty short. Oh, gosh, I am so sorry for, like, all the sniffing. And the camera going crazy right now. Finally, yes, okay. Oh my gosh, you guys are crawling. I've never had this happen with Gavin before, but they're literally crawling out of the box. Are you kidding me, Gavin? Come on now. I don't know if Gavin was going to package these, but I don't like the way they're packaged. It must be because there's so many of them. Because I've never... Wow. <laughs> So what I'll have to do is get my drawer system to put these guys in because it's crazy. So let me go grab that real quick. Because this is my drawer system for actually breeding super worms. And I'm just going to show you. So I've got the drawers mixed up. I cleaned it. But okay, so this one has a screen that I taped over it because I had some roaches in here. But it has a screen that we're actually going to take it off. So the screen is up. Um, and that way you can put your super worm um, beetles in there. And when they lay the eggs, the eggs are going to fall into your second drawer. Well, uh, they will also, the little worms when they hatch, they'll fall in this also. Because the beetles will actually eat the worms. And you don't want that. I'm going to tell you guys, it takes a while to breed super worms like it's a long process but it's so rewarding <laughs> like when you get that first beetle um and so we're actually going to start our breeding process again today with the feeders that we got um but first i will put them in here before they crawl over my kitchen because of the way they're packaged which i'm not happy with but i mean they're alive and that's all that matters really look at all these like this is heavy Look at all of that. And they love to... Oh, what did you put in there, Gavin? Potatoes? Okay, so this was the heat pack. So we've got to get it out of there. Man, he just threw a super warm out. I don't like touching them. Like, they will spit at you. Like, literally spitting. I don't know if it's spitting or shitting, but they do one or the other. Look at all these guys. So, what I want to do is just, I want to place them in the drawer, in the bottom one, for right now. Um, and then I'll show you guys how I go about breeding them. So, not only will this be an unboxing video, wow. This will be a how to breed super worms video. Look at all these guys. Look at this. My guys are going to have a ball with these, huh? Look at all these. 
world over here. So I don't think it was that bad of a way of shipping. It's just them crawling out and stuff. Had this been roaches, I'd have freaked out. Alright, so we've got some in the floor here that we've got to get up. Got a couple in the box. Yeah, we've got a few in the box. Actually, they have crawled underneath here. Alright. Also, I did not have not one dead super worm. So thank you again, again, Gavin, for an amazing order. Guys, please go to jerseyworms.com and order off of Gavin. He has, um, if you like fishing, let me tell you, he has a lot of bait, red worms, night crawlers, all that stuff. Um, a lot cheaper than bait shops. He also has a lot of feeders. He has great deals on Dubia right now. Um, I always get my superworms from Gavin because he has the best prices on superworms. And nobody that I have found, especially um, more of the smaller sites, even dubyroaches.com, do not sell superworms at the capacity that he does. Um, like you can get thousands from him. And... He don't have a limit on what you can get. So make sure you guys definitely go and get some feeders from Gavin and support him. He started out in his garage with his dad and now he's in a huge warehouse. Um, he also owns a landscaping business. You can also check him out on Instagram. Um, so make sure you guys go do that and I will definitely put his link down below for you guys. Oh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my feeder bows and my babies are going to eat like kings. Oh, yeah, yeah. So what I'm feeding today is I'm feeding my bearded dragons and my chameleon. Um, my crested gecko, he eats pangea, of course. Um, I've tried live feeders. He's just not having it. So we just don't worry about it. We just get the pangea with insects in it. Um, that way he has a full diet. Um, I don't know if I've told you guys or if you've seen it on my Instagram, but my leopard gecko somehow escaped from her enclosure. We have looked for her for the past four days non-stop. I have been like freaking out, worried. I've even left food out like on the floor where she can get it to make sure that she's eaten. But I don't think she's coming back and I'm literally heartbroken i loved her so much and i don't even know if i'm going to be able to get another leopard gecko because i just i don't know it kills me but let's get our feeder bows and feed the dragons and the cr cricket oh my gosh the chameleon really quick um we're going to be feeding the chameleon silkworms because the superworms are too big for the chameleon um because he is so small. So the only ones that are getting the super worms are the bearded dragons. I'm telling you, they love them. Alrighty, so I have everything open and sitting here. And I basically have, I have a bunch of these. I've got teaspoons, four teaspoons, all that. Uh, this is the one I found, so this is the one I'm going to use. But, so this is my multivitamin, so I'm going to take a scoop of that. And had there not be so many in here, I would not use near that much. But since there's so many in there, I'm going to have to use quite a bit more than usual. And this is my calcium plus D3. And so I'm going to dust that on there. Make sure they get plenty. And the bean back. I'm using a teaspoon of that as well. And then I'm going to take these. And I'm going to shake the egg and let them out of them. And you see how they get that nice taste. Um, some of them have blew out. But I can get them so they feel. And then once they're all coated in that, I take the strainer right here, and I just pour it in there. That way, we can get rid of all that excess calcium, so they're not got all that calcium 
in their enclosure. I dropped a couple here in the floor. Let me get them. Here we go. That's all that was in the floor, but we do have a couple here in the bottom of the bow. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide these amongst the other ones, the other bows. That's the thing about these damn super words. I'm sorry for the language. I'll bleep that out. <laughs> but the bad thing about them is that they can crawl out of about anything. Um, the best thing to get so that they can't crawl out of is the glass feeder bows. Um, they really can't get traction to crawl with those. Thor, he won't eat out of anything but a small bow. <laughs> so, we always have to go for a small bow with him. So... Get these bows here. All right, let's start separating them. So I'm going to get Thor's out first. And if I end up not having enough, I will just grab some more. Um, because I've got all the calcium mix in the bottom. And he's going to go wild on these. All right, so... Wow, I've got I've got them flying everywhere, y'all. Alright, so we've got Thor's here. Let's go give him his and see what he thinks about them. Yeah, Mama's got to get your salad, dude. Oh. oh, he's already going for him, guys. That's his favorite in the world. He loves his super worm. Check that out. <laughs> All right, next up will be Tika. She'll get her super worms. Let me grab these that fell once more. All right. And they're just crawling out everywhere, so I'm just going to grab them. Grab, grab, grab. Every day that I get my uh, shipments in, I always like give them a meal like crazy. If you ain't noticed how much. <laughs> Alright. So, she's waiting. Oh, she sees them. She already sees them sitting on the floor. So she's ready. There you go, little girl. What do you think? Yeah, she's going to town on him as well. Yum yum. All right, she's gonna take her time eating today. <laughs> And next we have Ash. And so she is going to get what's left in here. And what he doesn't eat, I'll save for his next feeding today. Because he gets fed three times a day. Um, because he's still considered a baby until he is. Um, I waited with Tika until seven months old. So... I may have got too many though, to be honest. Alright. Let's see. We got the big guy here. Now, a lot of people don't like to feed superworms as staple feeders, but I have always fed them and I've never had a problem with them. So, I guess it's just a preference. Um, a lot of people say that their exoskeleton is too hard for them to digest and can lead to impaction. But I always keep an eye on my poos and all that, so. Um, I know I gave Ash probably way too many, but uh, within 15 minutes, if he hasn't eaten all these, then they will get taken out of his enclosure and go back in for his second feeding. Alright, let's feed Ash. Watch him. He knows what that white bone means, like, um... 
There you go, bud. Get your salad out. Usually I give them their salad before their feeders. But today they're getting a treat. So. I usually give their salad about an hour or two actually before their feeders because I try to get them to eat their salad as much as possible. Yum, yum, yum. Ash is getting so big, guys. I can't believe it. And he's going to be my male breeder in my breeding project. And he's going to breed with Tika. He always feeds off his rock. Like, that's his thing. He's like crazy. Alright, y'all. So, let's get the chameleon's food ready. Um, he eats um, out of one of these. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my silkworm, which are right here. And I'm going to get him the silkworms out. And I try to grab the ones that are like laying down and stuff because I feel like, well, they're going to die. So I better get a wild again. Um, I don't know how accurate that is, but oh my God, it's so hard to keep these things alive. I've actually bred them from eggs. These are actually called zebra silk. All right, so before we get into our breeding superworms 101, um, I want to show you guys our new product at CK Design. And that is our reptile journals. Now these are awesome guys. These are great. They, they come with a book of stickers. Um, and they're great for keeping track of what vitamins you gave that day, what calcium you gave that day, what they ate that day. When they had their poo, when they had their bath, what had medicine they took, um, anything of the sort, especially if you have a number of different reptiles. So check that out on CK Designs if you're interested. Um, but let's get to how to breed superworm 101. All right, so basically, first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to purchase some of these guys, and you'll find them probably in the bait and tackle section, I'm thinking. Um, or the sewing section at Walmart for like, like $5 maximum. It wouldn't be no more than that. Um, and so, what we're going to do is we're going to take and... We're going to take and we're going to put a superworm in each little compartment. Um, to breed superworms, you're not going to have to feed them. Well, to start out, first, what we need to get them from is from superworm to pupae to beetle. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get them from superworm pupae. Um, to beetle and basically all you're going to need to do that are these like you're not going to need nothing else literally no food nothing um, so you're going to get these with the little compartments we're going to do or we're going to take our super worms and you're going to want to find some that are let me get the trash can over here so I can fit this on top of it at least two inches long you want to get your biggest super worms the bigger they are the faster now like i told you guys this is a long long process but where's my tweezers Had to get my tweezers. Um, but like I said, the bigger that they are, the less time it's going to take. Now you're going to have around a three week wait on getting your superworms from superworms to pupae, and then it's going to take another couple weeks for them to get to beetle. So you're going to have a good month. Um. 
so you'll see the size of this guy. This is about the perfect size of your super worm, if not bigger. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find my biggest super worms that I've got. And I am going to fill each compartment up. Putting only one super worm. Super worms for some reason will not pupate as long as they're with other super worms. So they got to be separated into their own compartment. Now all of these super worms that I ordered are large super worms, so they all should be at good size. And so you'll see how I'm just filling each compartment up with a word. Now, if you go in one day and a worm has house, somehow snuck over to another compartment, just put it back in its own compartment. Um, I mean, I would check on them weekly at the most. You really don't need to check on them. Some people do feed them, but I have found that prolongs your metamorphosis stages so much longer. So... Um, I would not recommend feeding them. Now, see how I have just put one in each container. And so, we're just going to close that. And then we're going to fill up the other one. Okay. And I'm just going to keep filling them up until each one of them is... Full. Oh, there's a couple good sized ones. I don't like touching them. I do. I'm not really scared of them. I just don't like it when they spit and poop on you. So, yeah, I'm not going to touch them <laughs> if, I, if I can help it. They poop on you. They say like a defense mechanism. Uh oh. Okay. So. Just a few more. And we should be good to go. Trying to find the bigger ones and they're hot. And they're just daggone drawer. They like to get in the corners for some reason, and they even do that when they're beetles. Alright, I found the stash of them. Okay, so, how many more do I need? Two more. One. Holy crap. I was like, surely I'm not running a while. Oh, look at this one I just found. I don't know if you guys can see. Hang on. Yeah, that's where they're all at. Right there. <laughs> like, crazy amount of them in there. They love to eat cardboard. So, yeah. Alright. So, we have all our compartments filled. Oh, wait, wait. Missed one. Let me get a big one here. Let's find us a big one to put in there. No. We can do better than that. There we go. All right. So we have, let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 in this one. And we have... All right, see, we've already got a scraggler over here. Um, there's a little hole right there. That's how you got over. But one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, eighteen in this one. All right, so I'm hoping they all can't get over there. But. All right, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a pen 
And I'm going to write today's date. What's today's date? The 9th? 10th. So I'll write today's date on here. So 3, 10, 20. I had mealworms in here, so excuse this. And that's just going to let me know how many I started. Let's see, we're going 18. And what day I put them in here. And that way I can keep track of how long that it took all of these. So, 3, 10, 20. And we've got 20 in this one. Okay? So that way... I <clears throat> All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them and I'm going to put them, if they'll fit. I don't know if this big one will fit, but I like to put them in a dark place. Um, you want to keep them at least, a good thing about these guys is you don't have to worry about heat mats and keeping them at certain temperatures. As long as they're 70 degrees, these guys are good. Um, that one's not going to fit, so I'm just going to put those in there. And... Um, yeah, so basically that's all there is to our first step of reading superworms. Now, if you want to be prepared for the next step, what you guys can do is you can go out and buy one of these three drawer systems at Walmart or Dollar General. Um, they will run you around ten to fifteen dollars for the three drawer. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your top drawer. And I basically have to uncover mine because I had Dubia in here and had to cover it up. But you're going to take your top drawer and you're going to cut the plastic out of the middle of the drawer. Let me show you guys. Uncover this. Alright. So you're going to take and you're going to cut the plastic out of the middle of your drawer. Covered on the bottom too, so uh, don't cover it. <laughs> what you'll do is find an old screen somewhere. You don't have to go out and buy some unless you absolutely cannot find it anywhere. Find an old window screen or whatever somewhere. And you're going to hot glue that around the bottom of the drawer, that screen, once you have the middle cut out. And then you're going to be set up for your next process now you are going to need um some oatmeal or cornmeal um there's people use a lot of different things and i'll, I'll check on some other things that people use i use oatmeal at last i mean I, I kept oatmeal um in there for a good month one time and didn't have to change it but um well, they use all different sorts of things, and I will list some of those below in the description. Um, but you'll need that for when, and like I said, you're not going to need this for like a month and a half. Um, but you'll need that for when you have beetles. Um, you'll also need some either egg cartons, or you can get these from your, if you go fast food a lot, save your cup holders. Um... You'll need some of those because your beetles need to feel safe in order to breed. Um, so you'll need lots of hiding places and things to climb on and all of that. Um, and that should be all you will need for the whole breeding process, actually. So, yeah. Um, basically, what you're going to do, guys, um, if some of you do get pupae before I make the next step in the video... Um, it's basically you'll take your pupae out and you'll place them in your first drawer, which is your top drawer with the screen in it. Put your some oats in there um, and place them in there and leave them be. And in a few weeks, um, you'll have your first beetle. Um, and so in the next video, when we do go to the next metamorphic stage, um, I will explain to you guys how to tell if they are male and female and all that. So, I will see you guys in the next video. I know today's video was kind of short, um, but I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you guys check out our new 
social media platform, which is TikTok, and all you have to look up is Raptor Crazy. Uh, make sure you guys follow us on Instagram and follow us on Snapchat. Make sure you go and like our Facebook page and also join our Facebook group to show off those wonderful reptiles of yours. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications for future videos. Alright guys, we will be doing a giveaway and I told you I would be announcing it in this video. And what I'm going to let you guys in on is that we are going to have a total of five different prizes. So that's five different winners. Five. And I'm going to be posting the details on my Instagram, Snapchat today. Okay? Instagram, Snapchat, and I'll post it on Facebook. So I'm going to be posting the details of how to enter that giveaway. And you must be subscribed to this channel to win. you got to be on our social media and subscribe to this channel. So make sure you do that really quick. Let me give you a second. Okay. <laughs> but I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for your support and for watching our videos. And we will see you guys then. Bye, Raptor Crazies.